Honorable Dr. P. Sindhil Kumar, uh, sir, for uh, giving us a wonderful opportunity. Sincerely, thank So, we shall start hand gesture recognition for uh, digital art using OpenCV. So, whenever we go uh, regarding that uh, OpenCV, uh, till now, uh, from Pantech, uh, they have. I hope there was some uh, problem with my network issue. So, we shall start it. Pantech has been originated in the year of uh, 2004. We have uh, seven branches. There are 100 plus employees. We have conducted almost uh, 1,200 plus workshops. And we have our own R&D for industry projects. Faculty development programs have been conducted previously. And we also conduct a hands-on training workshops within the campus and outside the campus. Internships and implant trainings are also being held. We also provide a short-term courses, validated courses, academic project training, customized design and services. We also been expertized in these domains. Internet of Things, Artificial Intelligence, Embedded System, VLSI, Image Processing, Network Simulation, Power Electronics, Electric Vehicle, Big Data, Data Analytics, Internet of Things, Python, Android Application, Data Image Text Mining, Cloud Computing, and Mobile Computing. So today we will be seeing the objectives of OpenCV and the methodology of image processing and uh, finally we will be applying towards the uh, one of the four Gesher as well as one for the digital art and uh, one basic regarding these two things. So whatever we create uh, for this uh, complete system in the sense it is uh, created as an artificial intelligence uh, base model, base model of an artificial intelligence. So in between we can say it as a machine learning. Okay, here we did not apply any uh, deep neural networks and all. We are just applied a machine in order to learn uh, through a video capture. So video capture in the sense we will be using our own uh, camera that is present within the laptop. And we will be guiding some instructions through the codes. So what are the codes in the sense? It may be the Python, a MATLAB or C++ Java in that way so through that we will be enabling it and uh, this machine learning technique uh, in order to recognize the gesher of the hand which uh, you will be showing in different geshers and therefore uh, with the help of uh, any of the uh, object in order to create an art within an open CV which is an imaginary art So whenever we go for the gesture oriented things, uh, it is nothing but non-verbal communications uh, that is uh, used by some of the dumb people or uh, people who are impaired with the speech. So whenever we go beyond that peoples in the sense that they will be using completely geshas only, right? So with the help of that geshas, we will be able to uh, convey the messages to the other person. So whenever we go uh, regarding that particular uh, function, we have to apply this uh, complete in the form of a recognition. Okay. So till now we might have seen, and if you look for the some of the previous webinars in the sense, uh, you might have seen regarding that uh, threshold value application or uh, conversion, how to convert uh, one form of video into another form. So this is nothing but a continuation. Okay. So uh, from among that we will be using the threshold value, and with help of the threshold value we will be applying background subtractions, and by applying that background subtraction finally we will be obtaining some geshers, or it will be mapping only the gesher. 
so in that way uh, we will be applying it and therefore whenever we apply our gestures it should be compatible uh, with whatever we are saying to it right so today i will be showing you the basic hand gestures uh, uh, just uh, in order to counting the finger so finger of your hand so regarding that we will be seeing as our uh, one of the demo So whenever if we speak about the gesture, it is not about the finger movement or hand movement. Even we can say it as a, some of the expressions in our face as well as a movements that are all obtained in our body. Okay. So whenever we go for uh, this gesture oriented things nowadays, there are many applications just to wave your hand. And uh, other than in front of camera, there are some uh, embedded boards which will enable the gesture such as uh, accelerometer or glove which is uh, used in the games at the same time there will be a gesha pad uh, if we wave in front of the pad there will be some uh, signals uh, passing uh, towards the embedded controller and through that we can communicate uh, towards the machine such as robo control or, uh, or any other applications So, uh, what is a digital art uh, meant for? So, digital art is meant for only for the purpose of uh, creating uh, some art imaginary uh, within the uh, virtual screen. Okay. So, we will be showing some uh, wavelengths or some of the gestures over here and converting that gesture into some art. So, in order to write uh, something or in order to display a uh, some uh, people uh, some words temporarily so in order to write virtually we will be using this uh, digital art and in uh, real life application the digital art is uh, working only for the purpose of uh, creativity or uh, creating with the help of the gesture pads or uh, regarding that uh, complete application towards the uh, designing of photos or uh, caricatures cartoons etc So next it is nothing but regarding the python and opencv uh, python is nothing but it is just a platform tool that has been used for uh, recognizing the complete visuals as well as audios or creating some uh, web pages with the help of uh, flask or django or doing for some signal processing data processing so that is the main use of python and here we will be mentioning here python with opencv so opencv is nothing but open computer vision uh, the computer can visualize digitally with the help of camera and whenever we apply some algorithms or limitations towards that we can train we can train the machines as well as it will be able to do just a minute let me check with the audio Okay, so there were some issues with audio. So therefore, uh, I think now it is audible. And therefore, whenever we use this uh, complete uh, Python software, it is a powerful language and why it has been used in the sense uh, because whenever we go for C, uh, there are some difference uh, between some of the complete applications oriented with C. Even though they are creating many of the uh, products or uh, end level softwares with the help of C in the sense, uh, it is very difficult to create uh, many of the things. So Python will make us more easier while compared to C.
and uh, this uh, CV is nothing but completely uh, it can also access with open CV and uh, we can do some image processing oriented works but uh, this Python and its libraries also been developed from the C as well as C++ programs uh, Python is nothing but it is an object oriented program okay even uh, you can use a GUI with a good application over here so uh, whenever you learn a Python language make sure that uh, these set of uh, things must be important because uh, without these things we won't be uh, using any of the functions in python these are the main part such as string list tuples set dictionary array set so make sure that uh, these kind of uh, data types are most important a basic requirement in order to work with uh, image processing or machine learning or deep learning rest all if you know some of the dictionary words or uh, some python oriented uh, python languages or uh, some predefined uh, datas that should be given so whenever you start to work in some projects definitely you will come to know and uh, here these are nothing but the mostly used uh, python libraries numpy matplotlib scipy and pandas so numpy is nothing but a numerical python whatever the data you give uh, to the system it will be taken in the form of array so to install numpy we have to use pip install numpy and the header file will be uh, return as import numpy as np it has n dimensional of arrays uh, that is nothing but uh, n number of columns and rows so if you give an image or if you give an audio output towards the audio input uh, towards the system in the sense it will be getting it as a array column uh, it is not only used for the image processing purpose for uh, all the entire uh, processes uh, which has been using with python uh, numpy plays a major role matplotlib is nothing but uh, to plot any of the graphical representation that has to be done uh, with the python or machine learning prediction or in order to give up a live histogram values and our uh, detecting some different uh, expressions so these are all nothing but uh, whenever we apply to this uh, matplotlib uh, within that uh, name itself it is nothing but a library of plotting so to install we have to use pip install matplotlib and uh, for calling that header file from matplotlib pyplot as plt these are nothing but the process that can be done with the help of and plot lib like, such as bar graph, histogram, scatter plot, area plot, pi plot, and pandas is nothing but for uh, clusterizing the data that has been given uh, within the rows and columns. Okay, uh, so with the rows and columns in the sense, it is not as an array; it is taken as a table, tabulation values. For example, if you create some data set and if you want to segregate it and uh, you have to apply it towards a some algorithm for uh, prediction or uh, data separation or data segregation purpose in the sense, we will be using this pandas file. And this pandas file, uh, we have to install using the command pip install pandas. So within this, uh, ideally, if you have to call this as a header file, you have to use import pandas as pd. So the possibilities of pandas are nothing but uh, uh, nothing, slicing of data, uh, changing in the index, merging and joining of data, change the column headers, concatenation, and finally we will be dumping it as a complete uh, bunch of data. And uh, with this data, we will be applying towards uh, some of the algorithms such as 
k nearest neighbor or k means algorithm and hence uh, we will be segregating the data according to our needs and finally we are using our open cv so what is the open cv in the sense uh, it is nothing but a real time computer vision application so we uh, might have been used only the uh, webcam only for the purpose of uh, video chatting or uh, taking some photos within the laptop so most uh, in this world it is used only for the purpose of video conferencing call through skype or uh, some of the other google meets or like that whenever we go in that way um, how they have been created that softwares in order if you get a call you have to turn on the application so these are not nothing but uh, the back end process will be like this computer vision tool only so with the help of this computer vision tool we will be using a uh, complete analysis it is not only enable to do uh, only the vision purpose whereas our mobile camera is only able to capture photos and videos but uh, the computer vision tool is not like that we can do n number of nothing but adding filters to the image automatically as well as uh, applying contours to the applying contours in the sense boundary towards a running video creating a negative video and uh, convert, converting one form of video into another and uh, we can also view that lively live format we can also recognize the objects recognize the face we can uh, create for uh, some attendance oriented uh, products so the, all the uh, image processing prototypes with the real time it is possible only with the help of python uh, at the same time we can use in with uh, matlab also but there will be some limitations while compared to python but matlab is a huge file with huge deployment uh, uh, area wherever we can use all the neural network or uh, 3d oriented tools in order to develop some of the simulation purpose and so uh, one of the most uh, famous which is currently going on uh, current trend in this world that is when all started to learn or uh, willing to learn it is nothing but image processing with open cv right image processing it is itself nothing but a complete uh, name that gives a processing in uh, image into different things okay so image is nothing but it is a two dimensional array whereas uh, video can be set as a continuous frame of images moving images is known as nothing but the video so whenever we use this uh, video oriented things in the sense we have to pro we, it is possible to process video as well as a single image it is nothing but based on the application which we require and uh, the current era of uh, complete technology is going on with embedded with artificial intelligence so within that artificial intelligence we can apply open cv as well as a uh, voice recognition and uh, embedded in the sense it acts as a background support whereas uh, for your laptops and phones there is an one important uh, heart of the complete product those are nothing but your uh, processors your laptops or uh, systems processor that plays a major role right and uh, in this major role uh, they will be completely going on with uh, as a back end substance and uh, why they provide a such a back end substance in the sense in order to process quickly we need some high end processors so nowadays the image processing has been started to do with the high end processors such as graphics board which is provided by nvidia uh, and they have been provided such a tool wonderful tool such as uh, jetson nano and uh, intel have in uh, movido stick nothing but uh, it is works on neural network and as well as uh, intel edison these are some of the embedded or ended with uh, high end processors can also check through uh, google so uh, whenever we have to compare with uh, computer vision versus image processing it is nothing but 
uh, comparing in the sense we can change one form of image to another form that is only for uh, image processing and for that we are using this support computer vision tool okay and as well as whenever if we go with computer vision in the sense we can create or we can monitor the physical objects continuously and also we can add some imaginary characters such as virtual reality or augmented reality by combining with it uh, doing purely with uh, python this augmented or virtual reality uh, it is very difficult but uh, when we go it as a software tool and then uh, enabling with some of the basic uh, application oriented codes such as uh, c hash or c uh, then it will be much more easier to create some of the designs with uh, virtual reality or augmented reality and why have asked uh, these things in the sense uh, computer vision has a capability of working with both uh, physical objects as well as virtual objects what are the virtual objects in the sense augmented reality physical objects in the sense that real time objects which is uh, captured by the camera So I hope there should be some open CV techniques that has to be used over here. And at first I am applying a contour to the real video. Because for digital art as well as uh, the complete uh, and gesture recognition, uh, contour is the most important thing. Then background subtraction and as well as uh, color conversion threshold image. Uh, whenever we use this uh, complete uh, audio for this, uh, sorry, and uh, whenever we use this complete things for the counter application with video, uh, we will be uh, applying this header files, import cv2 and import numpy, and for uh, continuously capturing it as a video, we will be using video capture. Whereas it doesn't store this video, we have to uh, write with a function nothing but writing of video. I hope uh, there was some audio issue within the uh, system. Okay, so whenever we use this uh, continuous uh, functions regarding this uh, with entire image capturing and the video and therefore we will be using this threshold application. So first we have to read this uh, video then we have to And first I am converting into normal color into grayscale and from that I am applying the threshold value and within this threshold value I am applying the contour in order to find contour so within this threshold value only we will be able to get the contours and it will be stored with this CNTS.
and we will be storing it to the cnts function and uh, after finally when we get this threshold value as level as the contour direction we will be drawing the contour within this particular uh, img which has been stored for the continuous video with this cnts and we can apply the different colors if, such as uh, now this is in blue color and as the first one stands for blue second one stands for green and the third one stands for r so pgr so now we apply it then uh, it draws the contour in form of a chain that uh, without disconnecting that is nothing but chain approximation and then we will be displaying the complete image with c2 dot i am show you So now you can see for entire thing it has been applied with contour whatever the objects and therefore uh, now you just carefully see i am just applying the contour towards my hand so since i am showing my five fingers it has been applied to the five fingers i am showing one for one and two for two two three for three three okay so this is one kind of gesture now i want to print this gesture towards some uh, applicant okay. so for that we have to apply some more uh, image processing tactics within this complete session and uh, here now therefore uh, just I am using uh, my cycle learn in order to segregate uh, what and all the uh, background subtraction or some of the, the separations uh, what are all I have given it as input right so this is nothing but it counts my uh, finger and with the help of this company I can do a number of applications when I am connected uh, this particular uh, source code towards my controller nothing as Raspberry Pi so here how it works in the sense I am using iMotors for uh, resizing my frame NumPy for getting array value and computer vision to access the computer vision features and sklearn is nothing but uh, scikit-learn in order to apply uh, the separation of group of data I will be using that scikit-learn so that I will be able to categorize what and all I am showing it as input so here I am getting my image at as an accumulated weight object. With the help of this, I will be able to uh, separate the background. And therefore, for segmentation, I have given it as a differentiation as well as the threshold value. And regarding this threshold, uh, based on the length, the threshold will threshold and uh, segmentation will be applied. And therefore. Uh, the contours of the particular area also will be applied and here the contour color will be in the form of a uh, red one in order to count the entire uh, segmented region so in this video you can see one uh, rectangle box and where i run over it so whenever i run over, uh, within the rectangle if i show something gashes within the rectangle box it is able to capture uh, that particular gesher i think so it will be better uh, to run as well as uh, show the same thing so therefore i am just running over here and this is nothing but the threshold uh, video this is nothing but input video given to it And so therefore uh, till now it is showing only one thing because uh, it is detecting some parts of my head as well as uh, some behind therefore we are applying ROI in order to uh, separate, uh, separate the region of interface and here I am showing I am going to show that uh, particular gesture 
So you can see what is the gesher over here. Okay. It is detecting as one, and you can see the red contour within that square box. Now it is detecting as three. Sorry, two. It will get fluctuated until it gets a proper vision. Now it is detecting as three. I think you guys can view what are all the controls applied over here for each and every pattern. Four. If I show it as a single, it will be detecting only the three. If I show it as separately, they will be fluctuating till four. Similarly, we can get up to 10 counts. Why I have applied only this area in the sense, uh, so therefore, therefore there won't be any of the fluctuation within this particular uh, gesture direction. Similarly, if we train this uh, thing with neural network, we can show uh, the same dumb language signs. And uh, now you have seen what and all the contours function as well as the threshold function which has been done over here. And in order to count, I have initialized with uh, count equal to zero. And whenever the, according to the contour applied, it will be detecting uh, or it will be changing this count within uh, the bounding rectangle. So here the shape is nothing but the circumference shape. So whenever I show some of the images within the particular uh, rectangle bounding box, uh, it will apply a circle according to the the shape or uh, the gesture I show. And based on that, it will start to count. And for counting, here it is uh, given for adding on the count. And uh, therefore, uh, if there is any part within that particular bounding box, it will be taken as adding one, else it will be taken as de decreasing one. So therefore I am uh, starting all my functions such as a camera and applying the region of interface to, sorry, region of interest to all the parts of the visualizing such as a top right bottom left and therefore continuously running the frame and the width of the frame is resized with the immortals dot resize function and once the height and width of the frame shape has been obtained then it will be waiting for the gesher what we have to give inside And for conversion of a uh, color, I am uh, using CVT color function. It is an inbuilt function of uh, OpenCV. And here, color BGR to gray is nothing but converting from normal colors to gray color. And applying Gaussian bar for a filtering application. And within this filter, if the calibration is successful, it will read the threshold and segmented value. And it will apply to the particular input which is given. And uh, especially you have seen for my fingers with the uh, red bounded operation. And similarly the counting is given as the fingers and, and uh, whatever how many fingers if we show means it will be written as the live text within that complete uh, window. We have seen uh, top left corner a red color letter which will be written as uh, So here if we enable this audio, whenever I show this uh, correct exact finger in the sense, it will be displaying it as I am hungry. Uh, this, is a, this can be easily obtained with the help of Raspberry Pi. And therefore in order to uh, read all the data that are obtained in the rectangle, 
we are enabling the function cv2 dot rectangle and within this i am applying the green bounding line and finally i am displaying the field which is the main window so here you might ask uh, everything is not interconnected in this way but all the functions are within the code itself okay so here most of them uh, at starting itself we have created the functions with the help of def count as well as uh, in segment segmentation and as well as for uh, running an average okay so these are all nothing but only for the purpose of uh, calling it in a particular order from this filtering to this end you will be having in the form of a particular order only because uh, while comparing to the functions we will be uh, it will be easy to access all the uh, application okay so if you have uh, any doubt regarding this you can just post in the chat box i can wait for you If you have any doubts regarding the hand gesture as well as uh, the contour application and in order to recognize the fin finger there will be some uh, training models that have been pretty defined uh, for the system in order to get this as well as the circular evaluation under unsupervised learning this comes under unsupervised learning as uh, you will be showing some group of data from that uh, it will be segmenting so for that segmentation we will be applying like this scale on matrix and therefore it is nothing but unsupervised and there is no algorithm used for this advantages of open sea or matlab in the sense it can be easily integrated with python as well as uh, we can create all the real time projects uh, now itself we can see you, you have seen just one of the real time projects it won't be in the simulation method and uh, if you change the one extension towards it then you can use it as a regular product itself just we have to take only the one step over there even matlab is not a bad one uh, the matlab has a higher oriented applications such as if you go for a lidar simulation or a computer vision application for autonomous or automotive in that way you can use it then if you go with uh, powertronics or renewable energy system uh, simulation so these are not even completely applied for uh, can be applied for matlab they can choose matlab for that purpose uh, anyone's hand gesture can be recognized k means is unsupervised uh, learning algorithm In Python, we are not allowed to use any of the C programs. Whereas in Turbo C or Turbo C++, you can uh, try this. You may take uh, around more than one month in order to 
start this creation itself. Yeah, uh, Scilab also can be used uh, as well as Scikit-learn uh, is used over here. It integrates with all the libraries. Some of the features of uh, Scilab have been implemented over here. The special hardware in the sense, uh, nothing but Raspberry Pi, Jetson Nano, Intel Edison, BeagleBone, SSTI, Jetson Nano with higher versions are also Jetson. NVIDIA Jetson, that is another. NVIDIA Jetson Nano is another. Yeah, we can add a recognition for a gesture and address prepared. Actually, uh, this uh, complete uh, implementation denotes the Raspberry Pi only. Uh, why in the sense, uh, according, while well, comparing with the system processor and Raspberry Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi has some low backend processor whenever we add OpenCV techniques. Okay, so when we apply to that, uh, there will be some time delaying automatically. Uh, due to this input uh, uh, substance whenever we add a camera or image processing uh, projects within the raspberry pi so in order to uh, avoid the delay uh, we won't provide some of the delays over here so when i run it in other high processing system in the sense uh, it will be showing some uh, fast fluctuations uh, that is the reason uh, here i did not provide any delay If I start to talk about neural net network means uh, one hour webinar won't be enough because it is a huge and vast area. We would we use MATLAB for simulation models. Okay, whereas. Uh, if you go for an industry oriented uh, application in the sense uh, MATLAB, they will be having the paid version as well as uh, the MATLAB in the sense. Uh, for example, if you are creating some autonomous vehicle, definitely they will be first simulating in MATLAB because entire simulation can be done with the help of MATLAB. Whereas we cannot uh, make a prototype for autonomous vehicle. So in case if you are going with uh, autonomous vehicle prototype in the sense, we can use Python. No, CB2 cannot be added to MATLAB, but uh, it has its own image processing toolbox. We have to uh, download it from add-ons, which is present in MATLAB. Okay, so next uh, we shall see one of the other implementation project. Uh, nothing but uh, digital art. So how to draw the shapes or how to create some of the shapes within the virtual. So whenever we work at uh, first we are uh, importing uh, deck as well as numpy and pass. Immortal CV2 uh, and URL LIB. Uh, in case if you are using IPCAM, you can use this URL LIB, else, you can use your webcam itself. Uh, and uh, here it will be uh, directing the yellow color. Okay. So, 
so it's not a it will be pointing out as a red color and it will be following only the yellow color oriented uh, packing color and with this yellow uh, we have provided a blue lines so wherever i move that will complete uh, that object in the sense it will be creating it as a, a blue line so here i am uh, defining the complete directions such as dx and dy xy paths for that image application and started to for video capture and it is reading the complete frames resizing the frame with the help of imotils color conversion from bgr to hsv and within this hsv it is detecting the lower and upper options we are using the basic applications such as masking performance for uh, erosion and dilation and therefore we will be applying the contours so whatever the line that is uh, displayed over here is nothing but the contour but so therefore if it is uh, greater than some of the lengths or the counts that has been uh, increased over here okay so therefore we are uh, making it as a contour application and you can see one uh, circle oriented function uh, wherever the particular object it detects therefore uh, we have applied the circle and the points is nothing but uh, moving towards the x axis y axis and uh, z so this x axis and y axis can be defined into two different types as a quadrant first quadrant second quadrant third quadrant and fourth quadrant and within this quadrant you uh, will be able to work with complete positive values negative values such as positive x value positive uh, y value negative x value and negative y value so that is the way we have been created as a direction so regarding the way which i am going to move uh, my product or my element it will be displaying the direction such as east or west or else it will be displaying it as north or south or else it will be displaying as northeast or northwest or southeast or southwest so the text has been written in the red color i am using the cv2 dot put text function over here and therefore i am displaying the frame which we require as output therefore i am running over here so whenever i uh, run this you can see uh, since there are two yellow plastic covers behind me it is completely detecting the yellow color and therefore i can make it to my way how in the sense by showing another one highlighting color so when this color overtakes while compared to that one it is easy to get in through a control let me cover it with my head so wherever i move it is just following so i can write anything virtually over here i hope uh, you can you have got it whatever i am explaining regarding these things So here, therefore, I'm writing my name virtually. Just uh, given a signature regarding this. If you guys have any doubts regarding this, you can just post it in the comment. So now we have seen some uh, consistent formation. First, we have applied the contour. Then we have seen how to uh, get a gesture from the contour, 
and uh, with the help of the contour itself and threshold we are applying some digital art within the uh, virtual creativity so this is nothing but one uh, some of the applications which we were able to create it as well as uh, we have got a wonderful opportunity just uh, during this lockdown period in order to represent in front of you so therefore uh, we have started our online internships you can just go through our website pantechelearning.com also the upcoming webinar details also it is updated towards this if you have any doubts you can post it in the comment box Uh, we cannot uh, recognize the fingerprints because it is so tiny small for recognizing fingerprints uh, fingerprint sensor will be necessary as an electronic device or else we can take our thumbprint in that way OpenCV 3 and OpenCV 2 are same only. They are just upgrading their versions. That's all. Yeah, it is possible to detect. We have to apply neural network towards uh, deep learning. So how to install that uh, open CV in the sense just open your ideally open give file open go to scripts just click on scripts and type cmd Make sure that you have got this data path and within this data path I am going to type pip install open cv python 
and just tap the enter and they have already installed the files it will be giving it as a requirement already satisfied and uh, after installing this don't forget to install this package combination of these two package only will be able to work with the python and computation opencv hyphen contrib hyphen python so, okay don't forget with these two commands you can install them this way And uh, hereby, I will show uh, how to recognize the face recognition. So here at first, you have to create the data sets so here i have given the subject data as Jishnu and uh, it will be capturing my photos of uh, 60 counts so this is one kind of creating data sets and uh, running it for machine learning for uh, recognition purpose so here uh, the bounding box has been applied only for my face how it is recognizing only the face in the sense since we have created an xml file just only to detect only the face so therefore it will be looking only for this har file this is the method by applying har cascade therefore after this uh, I have to write another set of code just to recognize whether it is my face or not. not. Therefore, I am running. So you can see uh, whenever it recognizes my face it is printing it as Jishnu so therefore uh, one machine learning application is done but we have to see how the data sets has been created Okay, so these are the current data sets. You might ask why you have changed your uh, data sets at currently. Because during this lockdown period, my some of the looks has been changed. And this is the other guy's data sets. So Whenever we use this kind of data sets, uh, we need at least uh, two data sets. Then only uh, the system will be enabled to compare it. So whenever you perform this task, you have to just uh, keep at least uh, two data sets and uh, the number of data sets you can create it. And once again, I thank the Raja College at Chennai for providing us a wonderful uh, opportunity to present this webinar. And since we have uh, started our internships, you can just contact Mr. Sandil Kumar, Mr. Srinivas, and Mr. Kumar Zomi regarding this project or. Uh, webinars as well as internships we are also started availing with discounts you can uh, just visit our website
So thank you.